Today I'll be doing an updated video, uh, basically how to buy and sell stocks on the Robinhood app with real examples, and then I'll also be going over the order type. So if you haven't downloaded the Robinhood app yet, it's a brokerage I like a lot. It's my main one. As you can see, I got quite a bit of money in here, and um, I really enjoyed it a lot. It's probably one of the best ones out there in my opinion. And if you're interested in downloading it, um, if you actually use someone's referral link, you get a free stock when you sign up and they get one as well. But don't use my referral link. I don't even have it in the description anymore because I maxed out on my referrals. So if you're interested in downloading it, um, I'm sure there'll be some in the comment section. Uh, definitely click someone else's referral link other than mine. And if you're posting a referral link, feel free to. I'll prove all of them. Um, put them down there and maybe hopefully someone will click your link and you'll get a, both will get a free stock out of that. And um, I guess if you post, I don't know, a cool comment or a funny comment or something like that, I'll take a look at them and I'll probably pin one of them. So maybe you'll get a few more picks than someone else. But um, other than that, getting into it, so as you can see here, I have the Robinhood app pulled up and two ways, really two main ways to get to a stock. Either you search it up, like you type in the name of it. Like if I want to look up Apple, just type it in and simply click it. And you can also look up like stocks by industry or by like um, a category or something like that. Um, but the, another way, if you already have the stock looked up and added either if you own it or if it's on your watch list, um, then you could also scroll down here. But I'm just going to type in a stock up here. So the first stock I'll type in is Apple. Just show this as an example. So how you buy and sell it, um, I'm going to go over buying first. If you click trade in the bottom right here, uh, don't click trade options yet. If you know you're not doing that, if you're not into that, um, that's definitely different. That is not just simply buying and selling. But if you go to buy down here, first thing it pops up is how many shares you want to buy. And you can only buy whole shares. You can't buy like fractional shares or anything like that. Robinhood does not support that. It just has to be a whole number. So let's say, you know, just one share. And then if you just click review. And then if you um, click it further, it will just simply buy it at the current market price or the next market price when the market opens and Robinhood actually offers trading from nine o'clock to six o'clock which is a little bit longer they added extended hour trading for absolutely free which is pretty cool but um that could be one way to buy a stock if you don't really care about you know the current price if it's off a couple of cents or a couple of dollars whatever um that could be the way to do it but some people think a little bit of a smarter way to do it is to set a limit so once again, if you click um, the top right here, order types, and if you go to limit, if you click market, that's just going to buy it at the current price. But if you click limit, it says specify the maximum amount you're willing to um, pay per share of Apple. So basically what that means in terms of buying, um, a buy limit order can only be executed at a specified limit price or lower. So for example, if I just type in, let's say, um, uh, let's see current price of apple 229 or 223 if i just go 222 click continue and then i'll say market hours only extended hours early um extended hours it doesn't really matter you can do whichever one you want it's like totally free um but during extended hours might be a little bit more volatile then you click continue and then you know you can either go never expire um good till after monday that's really up to you again when you want to do it and if you click continue again and then click review it will go through for you um, and then some other order types you can do as well is a stop loss. So stop loss, like it says, uh, you're buying the stock a price above the current market price that converts your order to a market order. So for example, if I do 225, as soon as it hits that, it will turn into a market order. And then if I go to stop limit, this is a little bit different. And once again, it's a price above the current price that converts it to a limit order rather than a market order. So if I go to 25, once again, click continue, and I go specify the maximum price you're wanting to will, um, willing to pay. If I go, let's say 226 or something like that, click continue and then continue again, it will go through at those specific prices. So that's basically how you do those right there. And this one I actually um, should have done a little bit more. Um, once again, it's the same thing. You got to click it twice though, continue, continue, and then it will go through. Um, so those are all the order types in terms of buying. Next, I'm going to go on to the order types in terms of selling. So once again, you get your stock pulled up, you click trade over here, you click sell. So um, let's say you just want to sell one share of them. If you just click review and go through all the way, it'll just simply sell it at the current market price. But if you go to limit, it's similar to buying, but just the opposite. So what this means, if you're doing a sell limit order, um, that would be executed at a specified limit price or higher. So that's a little bit different than buying. So for example, if you do, let's say um, you set the current limit price, um, let's say you go like 222 or something like that. So as soon as it hits below or at $222, they will sell that share of Apple. And then once again, you could continue to do market hours or extended hours early and click continue again to 
try to send it through. And then if we go back to the order types again, go to stop loss, uh, very similar, but like almost the opposite of when you're buying. So the stop loss is a price below the current market price that converts your order to a market order. So let's say I go like to 20 or something like that. As soon as it hits that price, it's going to sell. And then stop losses are probably the most useful out of these uh, because like it sort of makes it so you don't lose a whole lot of money. If you set a stop loss, it's you know, um, what some people would probably consider an important part of definitely short-term trading. Then stop limit, once again, similar to the stop limit for buying, just the opposite, a price below the current price that converts your order to a limit order rather than converting it to a market order. So let's say we go um, to 20, click continue again, specify the minimum amount you're willing to receive per share of Apple. So that's saying the actual limit. So let's say, I don't know, like 218 or something like that. Click continue. You know, it does the same exact thing as before. So basically with your order types, um, the main ones, if you're not too concerned about when you're buying or selling them at a price, if you just do a market share or a market um, order, it'll just simply buy and sell it at that exact price. But if you're selling a stock and you want to like sell it, I don't know, at a lower price or want to start um, set it. So if it hits a certain lower price, you're going to want to you know get rid of that stock. And then that would be a stop loss. And then similar to trading with um, or buying a stock, if you go to order type and then just simply go to a limit order, um, that just kind of sets it so you could um, set it at a very specific price rather than setting it at the market. But anyways, that's it for the video. Uh, let me know in the comment section if you're confused or you know wanted a better clarification of that. I just wanted to make this video kind of simple, trying to explain the basic order types. Um, I don't think they're too complicated if you just understand what they're meaning, but um, just simply looking at like a limit order that really doesn't make a whole lot of sense. It's not, it doesn't like explain what the actual market order means or anything like that, but a little basic explanation might help. But anyways, like I said before, if you are new to the Robinhood app, um, definitely use someone's referral link if you plan on signing up because you get a free stock and they get one as well. And like I said, drop your comments below with your order links or your um, referral links in them and I'll be sure to uh, you know pin one of those. And other than that, if you're new to the channel, I talk about the stock market, investing, um, things like that. So if you're interested in that kind of stuff, definitely head over to my channel and consider subscribing. But other than that, guys, thanks for watching.